Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the media. So if you are a writer, a new writer, getting into writing, any of those kind of things, or any kind of creative person you know, and you've been told a million times you got to get that media attention, you got to get that Oprah sticker on your book, and which is a lot easier said than done. However, uh, yes, if you can get any kind of media attention, go for it. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you need to write a press release. Now, um, when I wrote mine, I had no idea. And this is a few books in. My first book, I didn't do. I was clueless. I was just kind of fumbling along, trying to figure out what the hell I was doing. Some days I'm still like that to a degree. But you learn as you go. So when I did my first press release, I just found one online and kind of modeled how they did it. And, um, you know, it's short, sweet, to the point. Who are you? What are you doing? What's your book about? Um, that kind of thing. So, I, and I send it everywhere. And you know what? 99% of the people I send it to probably didn't even read it. Or just looked at it quick. Or whatever. It might be in spam folders everywhere. Who knows? However, the point is, is you don't know who will read it. And if they might put something in the paper. If they might want to interview you. Whatever. You have to at least try. And the way I look at it is even if they don't bother with you, you got your book cover out there and you're showing it to them. They open that email, you have your book cover right there at the top of the email. There is a picture, there's an image, it's going to catch their attention or maybe not. It might intrigue them or maybe not. There's a person behind that computer and you don't know. They may be interested in what you write personally, even if not professionally. You know, you got to do what you got to do. So, um, so that you have to think of that, but depending where you live, there might be free publications. There's some places where they have like a free newspaper just to kind of, um, talk about different local issues or whatever, uh, and the arts. Some are just focused on the arts. Try to get into those kind of things. Try to meet with those people. Try to talk to them. Um, you know, it's getting on television is more difficult, but it, you just have to keep trying, and that's really important. Now, my the second thing I want to say about the media, it's not always all it's cracked up to be. I've had great experiences where I've talked to people in the media, and they're awesome. I really like them. I enjoy talking to them. I think they're great people. I've had other experiences not so much. I had one person years ago. Um, I talked to her. I originally talked to her, I think it was around like my, maybe my first book, and she was really nice. And I talked to her again later, and she wasn't so nice. <laughs> and she was kind of snippy with me because I was trying to be nice, and I, I she had, I think she had pro postponed the interview because she had a cold or something, and I just said, oh, you know, um, I don't know, it's something about I hope she felt better or sounded like she still wasn't feeling, like, you know, you could hear it in her voice. I was trying to be nice, but she snapped my head off and said, no, what I need right now is a good quote. So that's my next thing I'm going to talk about. A lot of these guys, they want a good quote. I'm not always great at doing that. I don't know. I just kind of speak as I'm speaking to you now. I answer questions the best I can. That's something else. If you're new to the media, it takes a while. <laughs> it's take, I'm still learning. I'm not great at it, but I'm getting better at it as I go along. Doing these videos does help a lot right? because you, you start talking about your writing. The more you talk about your writing, when you're asked a question, it's, it's, it's probably something you've thought about and maybe verbalized the answer previously, so it makes it a little easier and your confidence increases and so on. Anyway, the point is that um, you get more used to that. You get more used to answering questions and giving good quotes. <laughs> As this lady had said, um, it was pretty obnoxious the way it was. I mean, it wasn't really... It, I wanted to get my book out there, so yes, I should contribute, whatever, but, you know, I'm not an expert in the media either. I haven't been trained on how to do these things. It's just learn as you go. I'm sorry. Didn't go to any kind of school. Didn't have anybody coach me on how to do it. So, you know, it, maybe she should have asked the right questions. Yeah, I said it. 
Um, so that's kind of my experience with the media. Like I say, I've had great experience. I've had shitty experiences. There's some people that are have just went out of their way to avoid me. Um, after talking to them once, I guess I didn't give a good impression. I don't know. Anyway, but let's just push that aside. So the beautiful thing about this time in the world, this day and age, is that if you can get the media or you're not getting the media you want, you can do stuff like this. You can do a video. You can write a blog. There's other ways to get out there. Facebook Live, you can do stuff like that on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere you have the ability to be your own media. I know that might sound kind of corny, but you know, I think as time goes on and something I'm noticing with different areas as far as writing, things are changing. So like once upon a time, for example, and this is just getting a little bit off topic, but you know, if you're an author, you have a book out, you went to a bookstore, you read your, you did a reading, you signed your book. And I'm not saying you can't do that anymore and it doesn't happen, but that's kind of more the old way. And, you know, I would gladly sign anyone's book. I would, I'm not crazy about sitting doing readings. I just don't really understand why, why it's such a big deal. Why having me read it is somehow more important. <laughs> I know I, I wrote it, but still, you know, really, does it matter? Um, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. And, and people might think I'm an asshole for saying that. And maybe I am. But, um, the point is that things are changing and I think even though the media is still important they're still great and there's again there's some awesome people out there in the media who really do want to help you who really want to hear your story there's others that aren't so awesome and you have to sort of keep that in mind and take them with a grain of salt or you know just be your own media person just be proactive don't be discouraged if you have just put out a book and nobody's contacting you, nobody's interested in doing the interview, nobody's interested. Do your own thing. Take Just take the bull by the horns, as they say, or just go out there and do what you want. If you're not being asked the questions you want, if you're not getting that attention, answer them yourself in a video like this, a video, like I say, on Facebook, wherever. You have the power to do it. You have to kind of push your way through sometimes when people aren't going to be, because people really, really aren't going to reach out and hold your hand. You just kind of push your way ahead. You know what? You're not going to interview me? Fuck you. Here's me. I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you. I know that sounds a little bold and maybe that's, well, no, maybe. You have to be bold. You want to get your stuff out there. I don't care if you're a writer or a musician. You got to just push down those doors a little bit. And I have no problem doing it. Not at all. I write about mobster guys who break down a lot of doors. So I don't have a problem. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I have a whole bunch of others you can check out too. I have over 130 now, I think. Something crazy like that. It doesn't seem like I have that many, but I do. Um, check them out. Check out my blog. Check out my website, Meme on Fire. Facebook, Twitter, Meme on Fire. I'm Meme on Fire everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere I am that I bother with because I don't do a lot of social media, but the ones I do, I try to be active on. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.